Can I have your attention, please? Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to the opening of Building the Next Generation of Prize Scientists Beyond 50 Years of Gary Scholarships. This exhibit commemorates the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the first Gary Scholar. To formally open our program this afternoon, I'd like to call on the head of the training center, Dr. Noel Lindsay. I don't want to say much because I'll, Bob will be saying a lot more, um, which is usual. Um, but I just want to initially say how pleased we are. I think here we should be, feel very proud um, of this event in this particular year and of Ashbury in all of that, all they've done in terms of making this happen. Uh, because this has been a scholars and postdocs led initiative in terms of putting all of this together. That's all I want to say. I would like to hand over to Bob, uh, who's going to be guided by Archu, etc., in terms of the next steps. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Thank you Noel. Uh, it's a real uh, pleasure, and I'll talk more about this tomorrow, or I'll repeat myself tomorrow in front of a larger audience. Uh, but it's a, a personal. Um, uh, I feel a personal sense of satisfaction uh, opening this, uh, this exhibit. I was a scholar myself uh, 32 years ago. Sad but true, from my perspective, anyway. Uh, before a lot of scholars were even born here. Uh, started my career as a scholar at SEA, a sister institution in, in Latin America. And uh, I, I personally can attest that it was a tremendous uh, opportunity for me, life-changing in, in so many ways, and plugged me into a career of research and development that I have enjoyed uh, and continue to enjoy beyond anything I could ever possibly imagine. Uh, and that joy comes from the, the, the nature of the work, the calling of the work, seeing the work over decades actually go out and make a difference in the lives of millions of, of farmers having to interact with some of the greatest people in the world, the richest minds, the most dedicated people. Uh, it's, it's just such a fantastic opportunity that I've been privileged to, uh, to share in and to enjoy throughout my whole career. And as I look at the young scholars and uh, young scientists, uh, I'm both delighted, or not both, I am delighted uh, enthusiastic, a little bit jealous, a little bit melancholy, uh, but over, overwhelmed by, by what we're continuing here. One of my objectives when I joined this DG was to completely revitalize the, the, the Young Scientist Program, and I think we've made a lot of progress on that. And, uh, and Hillia has that cane, not to help her walk, but to <laughs> make sure I do my job. Uh, but then it's been very successful. Well, it's, Probably not as successful as successful as you would like to have been. But I don't want to. I don't want to drone on here. But the message we left last week in Uruguay when there was a system-wide meeting, when Gris Bosbaum uh, finished his presentation, he put a slide at the end of his of my urging that said, "That's a very wise Chinese proverb: is that there are two best times to plant a tree. One is 20 years ago, and the other is today. And I think our scholars program exemplifies exactly that, uh, exactly that mentality and that perspective. So with great pleasure that, that we get to cut the ribbon to open this. I think Bruce and Helia and I will share one shear or scissors, or we'll have the, we'll each share one and we have to do it in sync with me, right? Okay. Okay, so I'll pass the uh, Pass the mic. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Singer. I'd like to ask Dr. Singer to remain here. And may I call on Dr. Bruce Valentino and Dr. Helia Castillo to formally open our exhibit with our ribbon cutting ceremony. You should be here, Dr. Singer. <laughs> so we'll have our back to the. Uh, I won't ask anymore. Bruce? 
Now, we have to learn from our, our friends in China, when we had the board meeting, we should take a video of the ribbon cutting. There are actually several different bows, and each person cut between the bows. Oh. Thank you very much. So, 50 years ago. Who wants to get married? Uh, oh, so that was three of you, ma. Okay. Okay, so that formally opens our exhibit. Everyone is welcome to view the exhibits which runs from today until December 6th. We also would like to invite you to tomorrow's event, right? Um, tomorrow we will be opening the Erie Young Scientists Conference, which runs from tomorrow until Friday. Venue is at the Erie Training Center. So thank you very much everyone for coming this afternoon, and we'll be having a nice day. Thank you.